In this activity, we're going to use the pen tool, which is this tool right here, right above the text. So the pen tool is a little bit weird to use at first, um, but once you get the hang of it, it's a lot easier to use, and it is a very, very useful tool to learn. So we're gonna click on pen, up here in your options bar, we're going to switch this to shape because we're creating lines and shapes. Then next to that, you have a fill and a stroke. We do not want a fill, so I'm going to click and click this empty slot. The stroke, I'm going to click here to select a green. Doesn't matter what kind of green, as long as you can see it. And then for our pixel, this is like how thick you want the, the line or the stroke. I'm going to type in 10. There you go. And we're going to start with the straight line. So the dots, these dots symbolize the click. So you just click on A, then go click on B. So we're going to do that. So click and click. And we need to make sure we hit return on our keyboard so that it locks in and now we have our first line or her shape because it's the shape layer. Now we're going to move on to the second one which is a curve. This is a little different so you're still going to do the click so click on A but when you go to B notice that right next to B there's this outline of a circle. That is where you're going to line up something called a handle. Um, when you click on B, you're going to click and drag. You're not going to let go of your click. So I'm going to click and I'm still holding the click and I'm going to drag it out. These little things are called handles. The right handle, which is where my mouse is, my pointer, is going to be lined up to that. That's what that's for. Now, those handles are there so that you can manipulate how you want it, the, the line to bend. Uh, and then now we're going to go to C, so click and drag and line up your handle, your right handle, to the next one. And then D does not have a handle, so we just click once and that's it. Remember to click return because if you do not, when you go to the next one, that's going to happen. And we don't want that. So I'm going to Command Z to undo, hit return and it'll lock it in place. The next one is very similar, but now we're curving in two different directions. So we're going to click on A, click and drag for B, line up the handle, click and drag to line up the handle. Same thing for D, line it up. Same thing here. And then F. And then G click once. Now notice this is a little straight so let me command Z to undo and let's go back one more. So an, a cool thing that you can also do is when you click and drag your handle if your handle so if the handle is affecting your next position of like the the click you can always hold down uh, option on your keyboard and you can actually move the handle without moving the, the bend. So if I, I'm gonna let go of option, see how it's affecting the bend. So let's say I wanna line it up here to follow that bend and then hold option and move this right here. See, and now you click on G. But, well, G is kind of still a little wonky, so let me undo. Maybe I do need to add a handle somewhere there. That's pretty close. If you feel the need to want to redo the whole thing, you can just delete the shape. So delete, and you can start over. But I'm not going to be that picky. So next one, the last one. This one's a bit challenging because you have both a straight line and going into a curved but the first part's very fairly easy so a click click on b uh, if you hold shift it creates a straight line so if you try um, let's try this if i hold my pen up here but i hold shift on my keyboard and click it's still it's forcing you to do only straight lines so that's a cool trick 
See how this one's slightly bending downwards? If I go back, I can hold shift, click, and that's a straight line. Same thing going down. I'm going to hold shift, straight line down. So I'm hold holding shift all the way. And then this one's going to be curved. So we're going to click and drag our handle right there. G, click and drag. Remember, if, if you need to, you can hold option, like I said, to move this handle and not affect the bend, which will be useful later on. And then this one's just a regular click. And then I'm going to hold shift because this is a straight line. Now, this is a shape, an enclosed shape. If I put my pen uh, tool here, notice how it creates a tiny circle next to the pen. That is telling you that you're about to close the shape, which is what we want. If you are off right here, when you create your shape, so I'm going to do that so you can see, it's not a closed shape. So if I zoom in, these dots are not connected. So it's not an enclosed shape. So when you go to fill it in, that might cause problems. So I'm going to undo. I'm going to hold shift and make sure that I have the dot or the circle to close it. So now it's closed. So if I wanted to, I can, oh, never mind, because it needs to be a shape. I can fill it in because it's closed, but I don't need to. So, and that's the pen tool activity. If you need more help, which I'm pretty sure the majority will need more help because I struggled with this a lot when I first learned how to use a pen tool, I will post a link to a, I think it's called the Bezier game. Um, it's a, a web-based game on how to use the pen tool and it gives you a lot of help so and that's it you're gonna screenshot this and turn this activity in